a couple of updates. Um, uh, I've always wanted to do a uh, a battle review of my own uh, battle, of course. And uh, finally, I found a video that I thought was worthy of uploading. Um, this video is going to uh, show you why you should never give up in a battle even though it looks like you already lost or sometimes like you have no opportunity of coming back um, so I'll play the little bit I'll play the video in a little bit but I also have an update for uh, this channel even though I, I don't have a lot of viewers but I know some people have viewed the videos um, this is not only going to be my first battle review but it's actually going to be my last video in general of Pokemon that I would upload and the reason being is, uh, sounds ironic, right? <laughs> Talking about giving up. Uh, I'm not. It's not that I'm giving up on Pokemon. It's just that I'm, I'm at a different stage in my life, and uh, I believe it is time that I moved on. Um, I've been playing Pokemon maybe for about, say, 16 years, and I think I've played enough, and I'm happy to the point where I've made it. I've bred so many shinies. I've built so many competitive teams, but there are more important things in my life right now that uh, require my attention and Pokemon's just a game that takes too much time and it consumes too much priority and I don't have the time, energy and uh, well I don't have the 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 investment for, for that type of time anymore like I said there's more important things in my life right now and well I decided to move on so enjoy this video and I will comment on it as I go and this was a rating double battle VGC and I was using a Gastrodon, uh, Mashurna, Camerop and Ursaring. I am running a Trick Room setup and as you can tell I'm going against a pretty tough team uh, since these are three legendaries in the pseudo legendary. Let's go ahead and uh, watch the battle. So, my opponent opens up with Zapdos and Landorus as I open up, as, of course, with Mashurna and Grasperdon, trying to set up the Trick Room. Intimidate did not matter at all since uh, I only have two physical attackers and I usually always start with my special attackers. The Naka was decimating. It did so much damage. My opponent knew this was a Trick Room set, so he immediately tar targeted my Musharna. And this was already looking very, very bad. I just lost my Trick Room setter, and I have no way to speed up my team now. Now all of my team is slower than his team. I was hoping to get the burn with the Skull, but I didn't. So at this point, I sent out my Ursaring, and of course, I want to set up that... Uh, that guts. Uh, I am running a toxic orb, and uh, I think I protect this first turn. Yeah, I did protect with Ursaring, and I believe I went on a Ice Beam or Skull on Sapdos. Okay, it was a Skull, and oh, and it was on Ursaring. I'm sorry, on uh, Swicking. And the reason why I did that is because. Uh, of course, there's that 30% chance, and I did want it to get a burn. Of course, Zapdos, again, is going to double target my Ursaring. And um, the reason why is because I can't target Gastrodon since she's water ground. And she's not dishing enough damage to where she's a threat. And he knows that I'm probably guts boosted. And he has a reason to fear. Look at that. I took that Zapdos out in one hit. Facade. And... I went for an Ice Beam here, it was actually on Sapdos in case I didn't knock um, him out that I could get the, the finish, well, I could finish her off, but of course uh, I did knock her out with, with one hit since Ursaring is that of a beast. Then my opponent sends out uh, Metagross and this is a very huge problem because uh, the only one that can actually hit it uh, is Gastrodon since I know he's probably going to go for a priority move. Or again, focus my Ursaring, seeing how much damage he saw that I did. But he just goes for a Snarl to just lower my Gastrodon 
by another stage. I'm already two stages down with my special attack. And of course that finishes off Ursaren since he only had 8 HP left. And this is what pisses me off. He's already going to win and he still goes for a, uh, a substitute. And I was hoping to get a skull, but of course, uh, that not only did not break its substitute, but I, of course I didn't get the burn. So, at this point I really wanted to just surrender. I'm like, how am I going to win when I'm going up against a Metagross in the su behind a substitute and a Snarl Suicune that has pretty much full health. But, instead of surrendering, I just hang in there. And I'm like, well, the only way I'm going to be able to win this is if I start focusing that Metagross and here uh, I think I went for a Earth Power to try to break that uh, that substitute. I don't remember if I went for a Skull on Suicune to get that burn. Yeah I went for an Earth Power this turn and I went for a Heat Wave but of course he protected himself so I, that would have broken its, its sub but it didn't. And I did pathetic damage on Suicune. Not to mention that she hasn't even dropped below 50% her health, so she still hasn't even activated or proc her Citrus Berry, which I know she she's carrying. Then he goes for a Send Head Button, and that does a lot of damage because of Tough Claws and plus its stat. And of course, this Suicune is just spamming Snarl, and there's nothing I can do about it. And he, my stages just keep dropping. Now Gastrodon is at three, three stages below in her special attack and camera at one and that look at that that's a super effective stab move and finally I was able to break that uh that substitute and the heat wave of course I hit the heat wave and luckily it hits the metal gross but it misses on the sweet hume um that could be both and bad good because it did 100% damage on him on metal gross but bad because I also want to do damage on on sweet hume because this thing can it's a beast that could still sweep me. Here I have no choice to protect. I have to conserve my camera because it's the only thing that's going to take this metal gross down. So I went for the protect. And of course he went for protect as well. So I'm like shoot, I have to go for another protect. Please let me get it. And wow, getting a second protect is, is it's not impossible but it's rare. So he goes on Iron Head, of course I protect it. He goes for an Ice Beam on camera and I protect it so he double targeted and fail this turn here I'm like ah oh, take him out or please get a burn and of course I didn't take him out but I got the burn which is amazing because Metagross is gonna go down this turn and this looks this just went from looking so bad to being in my upper hang now now I have two Pokemon against him of course Suicune could just take me out in one move with either Ice Beam and oh I, I forgot he still has a Landorus so I'm like, shoot, I'm still going to lose here. But I'm like, you know what, let me go for one more Protect. And I get three Protects in a row. How many times do you see that? He goes for a knockoff, but I Protect it. Goes for a Snarl. And my Gastrodon is at what, already like four or five stages below? So I'm like, geez, this Ice Beam, it's not going to knock him out. But I still have to go for it. And it was just a little shy of knocking him out. Uh, yeah, probably about... 10 HP I may say but I need to take him out because that Lando is going to do such a huge problem I went for a fourth protect of course that did not work uh, he did knock out my lefties and he went for the ice thing on camera because he wants to take him out I survive and I'm like Sh -sh I should have gone for the heat wave to just do more damage but it doesn't matter I take out the Lando and um I know he's going to target my camera. Well, he's going to target both of them with Snarl, so I didn't bother protecting this turn. There was no point. He was already going to take me out. Um, I did, however, go for a Skull because it's the only thing I can do against this Suicune. And I'm like, please get the burn, please get the burn, please get the burn. But critical hit and a burn. Look at that. Of course, he procs the Citrus Berry, which brings him up to uh, a lot of health. But now I have the burn, so I'm going to be doing a lot of residue damage on the Suicune. And he really can't touch me at this point because I have Storm Dream. So if he tries going for a water remove, I'm just going to raise my special attack. All I have to keep doing at this point is just spamming recover. And yeah, I hate to do this, but uh, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. And uh, I mean, after 
him being a little cheeky and pulling that substitute, I more than just wanted to keep going for the recovers because I knew I had won this at this point. Well, there you go, a video that shows you why uh, you shouldn't give up till the very end because uh, you never know, things can just turn around and things can turn out in your favor and you can end up winning just like I did in that battle. Well, thank you for watching and enjoy this last video that I will be uploading.